Welcome back to The Soccer Show. I'm Chris Marlowe. You know, Kevin Cusick has been traveling around the country doing stories on some of America's soccer greats. This week, he found an entire family in Bullsburg. Bullsburg? Kevin, where is Bullsburg? I'm in Bullsburg, Chris. You know the place, Bullsburg, Pennsylvania, about 40 miles from Altoona, which I'm sure you've heard of, and just a stone's throw from Penn State University, where I caught up to Walter Barr and a family full of athletic history. Just one mile from downtown Bullsburg is Walter Barr's house, and the photos inside make this house look like a sports hall of fame. Walter was a member of the 1950 World Cup soccer team that upset England, the biggest American soccer upset ever. His son Chris has two Super Bowl rings with the LA Raiders. Matt also has two Super Bowl rings, one from the 1979 Steelers, and yes, he's the one with the golden foot that every Giants fan loves and every San Francisco 49er and Buffalo Bills fan would like to forget. Casey was an All-American in soccer at the Naval Academy and was on the 1972 Olympic team in Munich. Athletic success is not limited to Walter and his three sons. His wife taught exercise and sports science and daughter Davies Ann was an All-America gymnast at Penn State and helped lead them to their first ever NCAA championship. So what's the sport of choice in this family of athletes? That's a very easy question. It's a soccer family that went into football to make a living. And all things being equal, I'd prefer to be in soccer strictly, and so would the boys. Chris played a lot more soccer than football at Penn State. He played professional soccer for the Philadelphia Adams of the North American Soccer League and was voted Rookie of the Year in 1975. So how did he get to the NFL? I had the opportunity to just go play professional soccer for a year. And at that time, they weren't paying any money. I was basically making $500 a month. They let me have a place to live in a car. Uh, so I went back to school, finished that last term and kicked. And when the NFL drafted, it, it basically came down to a financial situation. Chris kicked 241 field goals and 490 extra points in 14 NFL seasons all of them soccer style. Well, I think the biggest thing that soccer gave you and playing sports in general was the competitiveness needed to kick. I don't think people understand that you need to be a heck of a competitor to kick at the NFL level. Matt sure knows what it takes. His foot stopped the 49ers from a third Super Bowl appearance and was the key ingredient to this year's Super Bowl victory. My father had always advocated soccer players kicking footballs. He thought that the Gogol X were not a oddity but the wave of the future. Now my oldest brother Casey tried to kick footballs and play soccer uh, but he was not allowed. We never wanted to give up soccer. Matt's first love was soccer. He played professionally with the Colorado Caribous and the Tulsa Roughnecks of the NASL in 1978 and the Pennsylvania Stoners in 1979 before joining the Steelers that same year. My rookie season was funny. That was a funny year because I had come from playing two years of pro soccer. And I never really planned on playing pro football ever growing up, but it was an opportunity that was presented. So what the hey, give it a try. After coming from a soccer background and being part of every play, standing on the sidelines drove Matt and Chris crazy. What drove me nuts was that I couldn't get involved in the game. In soccer, you're in there for 90 minutes and you're with the ebb and flow of the game and you can find the game and you have a lot of time to uh, establish yourself, do the things that you want to do. Whereas in football, as a kicker, you're only getting out there maybe four times a game, five times a game. I went from playing 90 minutes a game and basically being a focal point in a game, having some control over the outcome to kicking. We're totally dependent on 44 other people to get us in position to kick. Here's Matt Barr kicking it off. When Matt does get playing time, he makes the most of it, often paying the price with his body. Matt has accomplished several goals on and off the field. He and his wife Marissa call Pittsburgh home where he has two daughters, Caitlin and Lindsay. One thing he hasn't yet accomplished, but would very much like to, is to score a touchdown. Although I keep saying, in the rules, it's a $1,500 fine, I believe, to throw, toss, bounce, or hand the ball up into the stands after a touchdown. But it doesn't say anything about kicking the ball up in the stands. So I've considered kicking it up there. In trying to find the secret to this family's success, dance may have something to do with it. 
I used to do a lot of choreography for the high school that I taught in, and uh, I would take the boys and my daughter as guinea pigs, and I would do the choreography and then try it out on them. And if they could do it, then I felt anybody could do it. And so we used to uh, try everything out in the living room. The Barr family has proven they can dance, and their footwork has been spectacular on every athletic field they've ever played on. On the road in Bowlesburg, Pennsylvania, this is Kevin Cusick. Soccer Heroes has been brought to you by Soccer America, the news weekly of US soccer fans.